So what do you think? I don't know. I kind of feel like my my flying skills probably probably need some work, but not too bad for a newbie, right? Pretty cool little drone. And in case you're wondering, this is called the Mavic Pro. Folds up into a pretty uh, compact little package like this, which is great for you know taking on the boat with us. But anyways, this video is not about drones. This video is about lots of work that must be done. So let's get to it. I'm already getting attacked by uh, I don't know, mosquitoes or no seums or something like that. And Tambi recommended this stuff called oil of Olay or something like that. It's uh, you know, it's not actually you know bug spray, but everybody says it's supposed to work really good for you know keeping mosquitoes and bugs and stuff like that off of you. One thing is for sure is it it, it kind of makes me all shiny. Okay, so I have the shrouds removed. Here's one of the shrouds and the other shroud is stretched out going that way. And then this piece right here is actually the new wire where one end is leading up to my little work area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a an eye terminal onto one end of this really, really long wire. And I just, you know, basically just kind of bevel the edges of uh, the wire with a file. Okay, and then you lay the wire open like that, exposing the core. And also at some point in the process, be sure that you cut yourself because that way you bond with your rigging. You can then attempt to stop the bleeding with a piece of masking tape and a bit of paper towel, but only after you've managed to get blood all over your clean shirt and your foot and your leg and the stalag fitting. And you then install the cone like so. Close the wires, like so. You then remove the cone because you remember that you actually have to install this piece first. Then you open the wires back up and you put on the cone. Like that. Then you slide this piece back up to the top here. Anyways, it's right. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And put a little bit on the threads and thread it all the way down. So we're gonna put it on and then take it back off. Put a tiny little bit inside the eye terminal and you put this little mini cone in. Put a bit more caulking in there. Red Loctite on the threads. Tighten everything down. Clean up the caulking that is squeezed out of the bottom fitting and finally clean up any blood that may have gotten on the fittings, the wire, your tools, or your person. Then you have a Staylock Eye Terminal. Da, 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 da. Now I just have to do this three more times. I have a quick update about the effects of the oil of Olay insect spray. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not real sure why, but this stuff seems to be working wonders. I mean, it's not an, ins you know, it's not like off or cutter or any of those, you know, bug sprays. It's working great. I haven't had a bug bite since applying this stuff. I think it's probably because when I'm covered in this, the insects probably find me less visually appetizing just because of my pale and oily state. I don't know. I I'm not sure, but this stuff works. on here I'm in the car now oh there I am hello uh, a lightning bolt just hit somewhere very very close by uh, I was over there under my little tent but yeah I, I, I don't know that that lightning bolt had to have hit one of these masts somewhere in the yard so I'm just gonna hang out right here inside my Faraday cage until the rest of Oh, did you hear that? Oh my lord! 
Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the furler. Furler off. That was pretty easy. Yeah, so I'm back in the car. Black clouds rolling overhead with uh, sound of uh, thunder all around. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I'll, uh, I'll end up using this footage or not. It just depends how much of a wimp it makes me look like in the final cut. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know, I've almost two lightning bolts within 100 yards of me in one day. Mmm, I don't think I want to push my luck. Good morning. Okay, so the adventure continues. Let's see, what are some new developments? Uh, well, I guess for one thing, you see that I'm now wearing my, my hat and long sleeve shirt. I am no longer using this stuff, at least not on my whole body. I'm using it on my legs still. Um, and a correction, this is not Oil of Olay. This is Avon Skin So Soft, I think. Uh, Tamby corrected me on that. But anyways, while that stuff was highly effective against bugs, it was also highly effective at uh, drastically increasing the rate at which I burn from the sun. It's like, I guess it just made a, uh, I don't know, it was like a full body magnifying glass. So the, the sun's rays were intensified. Now kind of the status with the mask now is the cap shrouds are replaced, the lowers are replaced, and now what I am working on is the, the head stay and the back stay. Now the back stay is off. That's, that's simple enough over there. That's the one with the, uh, the pneumatic tube on it. I'm just going to take that home and copy it. That's easy enough. The head stay, however, is a bit trickier because it is inside the furler. And th this kind of, I don't know, how all this comes apart kind of remains a, a mystery right now. I mean, for one thing, the, uh, the foils are held together with some kind of inner sleeve that is riveted together. So I've already been to the store this morning and purchased a hyper-tough, you know, plug-in drill. And I mean, this is supposed to be extremely high quality because, you know, you have tough, and then you have super tough, then you have extra tough, then you have really, really tough, and then, of course, you have hyper-tough. So this should be a top-notch drill that I can use to take out these rivets. Oh, no! These are also hyper-tough drill bits, by the way. I found a much easier way to get them off. You just take a punch and then punch out the core so that it, you know the core goes down inside. You put a drill bit on the flange and drill it in there and then it just kind of sticks to the drill and then you just lift the flange right out. So it's really not a whole lot to getting them out using this method. I'm very glad I had a punch. And what kind of man doesn't have a punch? And I'll tell you the kind of man that doesn't have a punch. The kind that uses hyper tough tools. Mmm, yeah. Let's see, okay, so this should just come right off, okay, let's not lose any of that stuff. One, one foil piece, ah, ah. Two foils. Oh, oh. Okay, coming down to the end now. Just have the furler drum assembly and one last piece of foil to take apart. Okay, just found something kind of bad. Okay, look at that. There's a big old crack in this bottom foil piece. Huh. 
Oh crap. Okay, everything's taken apart. Um, there was a little bit of a mystery whether there was a turnbuckle or not hidden inside here somewhere and I mean there is not. This this four stay does not have a turnbuckle. And that is just that is just the weirdest thing to me. Okay, all right, nice. The goal has been achieved, although it does does kind of uh, you know create a little bit of a mystery of how I'm going to put this back together with stay lock fittings and a turnbuckle and all that stuff. But anyways, mission accomplished. <laughs> all right, guys, it is time for me to go home. I have accomplished everything I set out to do on this trip. And now it's time to uh, go home, see the ladies, and work on building a, a back stay and to figure out how in the world to build a four stay and to get it to work with that old furler of ours. So that's kind of what's next on the to-do list. Yep. So a successful trip. All right, Sand Flea, take care of yourself. I'll be back soon and you'll have new standing rigging. Get that mast up before long. Until then, don't go anywhere. So I'm just gonna hang out right here inside my Faraday cage until the rest of the- Holy crap! Oh my lord! There's some crazy lightning going on.